Hey there, how's it going everybody? Just wanted to share with you something here real quick. I'm getting some great results here using this artichoke as an understory shrub layer to some of these dwarf fruit trees in my backyard food forest. You can see here I've got a couple pear trees side by side. To the right of that, I've got a dwarf apple. And then just below that, we have the artichoke. As you can see, it's already starting to produce some food for us. But a couple of the other really important functions that this plant is performing, other than the fact that it's helping to beautify the overall garden design, you see that? That's a whole bunch of shade underneath there. And that's helping to keep my soil cooler. It's helping to retain moisture. And those are two really important functions in the overall sustainability of this design. So I just wanna share with you some of the results I'm getting here. This has really turned out to be a great decision to plant this here. And the artichoke is a perennial, so it'll be coming back year after year, another benefit. And on top of that, these leaves all break off very easily. And as the plant grows up, you tend to break off the lower leaves as they start to die back. And they create a really good chop and drop. I actually did a little bit of that earlier today. I'll show you where I put them. Got this little potato patch over here on the edge of this hugel culture and the chickens were starting to dig into it so i went ahead and just threw a whole bunch of artichoke leaves right on top of that that should pretty much stop them from digging in that area here's another example of an understory shrub layer and this is a comfrey and it's producing a whole bunch of fertilizer i'm going to chop and drop this around the fruit trees it's also helping to shade out the soil just as the artichoke is and it's helping to retain that moisture. And just like the artichoke, when it's fully mature, you can see that the comfrey has these beautiful flowers which help to attract beneficial insects into the garden. Over on this side, right below this aronia berry, and you can see this aronia berry is putting on quite a few fruits now, so I'm very happy. This has been in the ground just a couple years, but I've got this crookneck squash as an understory layer. And I'm already picking some crooknecks, and you can see again this scattered shade underneath here. This would actually be a really good place to plant another baby style plant and give it a chance to grow without the hot sun beating down on it. So there's a few examples, but uh, I really just wanted to share with you mainly the artichoke. This is the first time I'm growing it as an understory. And these guys can get kind of tall, they can get five feet tall or so but you can also train them, cut them back, top them off, so don't worry too much about that. All right, everybody, well, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned. I'll be coming back at you real soon with some more content.